Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is busy, and today we're talking about knives with the best ergos. So I pulled out a bunch. We actually have more than ten here, but we're gonna talk about a couple really close calls. Like the Rat One has amazing ergos, and that's another reason why it's such a good knife. You have this nice choil area to really get up close and to push cuts, but even back here, you're really locked in. The jimping works, and the blade geometry is nice and is meant for cutting and meant for use, and I've seen lots of videos of these things just being beat, beat to all hell and still coming out on top, so great knife and great ergos. It just has that depth and this little spot right here for your finger, the thickness with the width. It really feels comfortable in the hand. Next up, this one might be a little controversial, but the Ergos, you, you can't deny the Ergos. This is the Ganzo F756. And it's not the it's not a 940. As you can see, a lot of people say it's a 940 clone. It's not a 940 clone at all. Yeah, the blade shape is the same, but nothing else. I mean, it's flat scales, not contoured, and it's way bigger. It's just, there's, there's really, when you put it in hand, you realize how much different it is than a 940. But this one actually gives you good grips, or a, a good grip and it feels really comfortable in the hand. Now what makes Ergos so good is that with good Ergos gets great leverage. With good leverage makes a knife cut better. You can have two different knives, one with great blade geometry that doesn't feel good in your hand and it just doesn't cut good versus another knife that has bad blade geometry but it cuts great because you have good ergos because you have good leverage in the hand so ergos are very very important when you are using your knife now let's get into some knives so this one right here isn't the best but for a small knife the Kaiser Rogue has a very neutral grip with the thick and the depth. It, it does feel good in the hand. It's not the best. I'm not saying this is the best Ergos. So this one's definitely not on the list, but it is very close, especially for the size of the knife it is. It's like a utility blade on steroids, and it is a great example of good Ergos for a medium to small size knife. The Best Tech Warwolf. This has amazing ergos. Getting this in hand, you really feel like all this little contouring or chamfering, whatever you want to call um, those, they, they really fit in your hand just nice. I do not feel the clip at all, and it really locks you in place. You feel very secure using this in just about any grip. It just works so good. The Best Tech Warwolf. What a great knife, especially for just use, you know, using it. Man, the action's really good. The detent is super crisp. Even though this thing's been used, like, seriously used, it still holds up really good, nice and strong. Civivi Praxis. This knife is... One of the best Civivi, I mean, Civivi makes a lot of knives, and this is one of their older models, but this knife is amazing. And for Ergos, you see how it has like the taper where it goes from thinner here to a little bit thicker here, and even though it has the finger placement, your fingers can cover them without a problem if they do land on them. It doesn't get in your way whatsoever, and then you have... A decent finger twill to really creep up for push cuts or whatever. And it just has a great, great uh, placement for fingers and just the width and the depth, you know, is really nice in the hand. And the clip, sometimes these clips can kind of get in the way. But for some reason, with my hand personally, I don't know if this would happen for you, but if you look at my hand where it places, it places right over the smallest point of the clip, 
where I don't have it where this part is ramming into my hand. Now I can make it do that if I try, but when I just let it, when I just grip it naturally, it's really nice in the hand. And yeah, what a great knife this is. The Quest Custom Gent. This has really good ergos. The one thing that kind of throws it off is this jimping is a little sharp. But the ergos in here, it's, it's pretty neutral with the flat spine. I like knives that have a straight back because, you know, it really locks you in and makes it to where it's very neutral and you don't have anything pushing into your palm. Like a little bit of a palm swell is not a big deal. But it's nice when you can pick where your fingers go. And this Quest Custom Gent, it has amazing ergos. The Hogue Ritter RSK MK1. Also, you can also put in the same category as the Benchmade Griptilian. They both have great ergos. It's just such a neutral type of grip where it's just nice and contoured all the way around makes it to where you get to choose where you want your fingers the palm swell it makes it to where you can really squeeze this knife and and not feel any sharp spots it just feels really good it feels like you couldn't pull this out of my hand and i like the feeling of that especially when you're pushing through really thick materials you want to be locked in really solid Benchmade Griptilian and the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1. Now, this one is a very expensive knife, but when you get it in hand, you kind of understand. This is the Rockstead Chai Chi. I think it's the Chai, but it feels so good in the hand because it has. The exact opposite of what like a strider has. It goes from thicker to thinner, just like your grip does. Now watch when I turn this. You see how it up sweeps right here? Like it gets thicker here. So it's actually thinner right here where your fingers land. So your pinky just wraps around that little spot right there. And it feels good in the hand. And then this spot right here pushes right where your hand lays. You can definitely tell that they examined how a hand holds something when you feel this in your hand and it feels really good in the hand especially back down here by the pinky it just locks in even without me holding it anywhere else this is pretty locked in obviously i can move it but i'm just saying like to pull it out of my hand would take a lot of force and that's just with two fingers then once you add these fingers in and your finger kind of sets over this little spot right there onto that jimping. It feels really good in the hand. The DLC coating though does take some fingerprints. Next, the Tucson TS-129. This knife, it's just contoured really nice. It's kind of like a Griptilian or a Hogue Ritter but you know you have this little front trailer area where you can really get up nice and close to do push cuts this grip right here is really nice but then even back here you know you have the straight spine like i said it's contoured you have a little finger groove there but it still it just fits really nicely in the hand feels really good i like putting my finger right up there and kind of locking in with my middle finger feels really good even in the reverse grip it's decent not as good as like this, but it's still decent. And yeah, great knife, great ergos. Another Tucson, the Tucson TS-267, I think it is. I think it's the TS-267. Now, this knife is a little bit smaller. Um, not small, but it's the, the, the grip isn't a big area, but it has the width and the, the thickness right here where you really lock in place. Now, taking advantage of this front, uh, you know, finger choil area, you really lock in. It feels really good in the hand and maybe not quite as good as some of the examples on this list, but 
this is still a great example of good ergos. The clip, I feel it a little bit, but not bad. Now, one complaint about the grip is I do feel this corner from time to time right there, but it's really not bad, and it's never annoyed me. Um, but I do feel it, though. But when I'm up here, I don't even feel it because now I'm past it, and it really locks you in place. Great little knife. All right. Hinder. So, hinders all together have great ergos, right? But none of them compare to the flipper, uh, the one without the flipper tab. So the XM24 is awesome in the hand. It's so big and just feels so solid. You can really get a good squeeze. Yeah, this is a little sharp down here, the pinky, but not that bad. It feels good in the hand. Now, when you get down to the XM18, you know, it's almost even. I don't know which one's better. They're both great in the hand. The other one's just a little bit bigger. But once you get rid of this flipper tab... Oh, it's so nice. It's some of the best. Like, this is definitely one of the best ergos. And you guys know how I like taking advantage of a front choil area. That is so nice for push cuts or even, you know, just for slicing. But you don't even have to use that. Just creeping up right under here in this spot. It's so comfortable. This is really nice. The X or the Hinder XM18 with the flipper delete. This one does have the fuller on it. And, the, you know, it's weird that all the Hinders I have right now um, on loan and for gifts, and um, it's so weird how you can have two of the same exact model and they feel completely different, or the action, like... I have a couple different XM24s, and on my bad lists, you know, because I do the good and the bad, are completely the opposite of each other, even though they're the same knife. That's crazy. But, you know, it just shows you that there are differences even in the same model or same knife. Next up, the Spyderco Gale Bradley. This thing is just a, such a neutral grip that... You get to decide how you want to hold it, and I like that. With this little ramp right there, the jimping does work. You can take advantage of this little area if you want. I know I do, but it's just so neutral. You really get to decide where you want your fingers, and that's a good thing in my opinion. Um, even with pull cuts, like it's just it's done so good. And if you do want to creep up and get up close, you can. You don't have any finger choil areas or flipper tabs or anything getting in the way of you holding it the way you want to. Next up, the React K2. This is a lot like the Spider Co Gale Bradley, where you get to figure out where you want your hands. The only thing is it does have the flipper in the way. But it doesn't matter with my hand size this um the jimping back here literally lands right where i need it to so i don't know about anybody else's grip but for my hands this is amazing some of the best ergos ever right here this thing is just so good in the hand yeah even in the reverse grip um, it does have this little palm swell right there. Yeah, I guess it's called a palm swell right here. But it just works. It works so good. Next. Ooh. Ooh. The Ultimate Hunter by Cold Steel. This thing is so good in the hand. So good. It does have this little uh, thing right here. But it really just locks you in place. It's nice and swelled and contoured so nicely. It's very nice. And especially for hard use or anything you're going to do abusive to a knife, this feels good to do that with. Even in a reverse grip, any type of grip you can get. And if you are going to do a little bit of chopping, this little thing really holds on to you. You know where you can do that. Not saying you're going to do that with this knife, but it feels really good in the hand Sp 
Spider Co. Shaman. Yeah. I think most people know by now that the Shaman just has great ergos. When I first put my hands on it, I was kind of underimpressed because everybody had hyped it up, how great it was, how great it was. But then I started using it and it really started making sense. You can get up so close to this to the um to the blade to get good push cuts and this finger choil area really locks you in with your middle finger right behind the secondary one. But the, since the spine is as straight as it is and has a little bit of taper right there, it really locks you into your palm. And this little bit of a swell right there is right where these two fingers land for me. So it feels really good in that grip. Now, even if I don't use the choil area, I still have plenty of grip to get a full grip. Now, if I squeeze it as hard as I can, yeah, there's, you know, the corners are a uh, smidgen. Not sharp, but they, I feel them. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit. But in all reality, this is almost as good as it gets for grips, especially with these amazing my red micarta scales. Love it, love it, love it. It's nice and warm in the hand, and it just works. All right. Now, for the knife with the best ergos on the table, which... I could have pulled out even more knives with great ergos. I really could have. Uh, there was a few knives I almost did put on this list, but didn't. The Shiro Goroff F3R. This knife has the best ergos I've ever felt on a knife. Maybe it's just my hands, but I don't even feel the clip at all whatsoever. Not at all. If it didn't, I couldn't even tell you if it had a clip on it right now. And the jimping works. It is a flipper, so you do have the flipper um, tab, but it really doesn't get in the way. And, you, man, you just lock in. It's contoured nicely, and it still has that same concept with the straight spine. Yeah, it swells a little bit in and out, and it does have um, this uh, uh, jimping right there but man does it just feel so good it's just the perfect depth thickness and contouring and you got a little bit of grip from the white carbon fiber even in the reverse grip man it's hard to beat this um i i do have a couple knives out there right now that i don't have at my house and remember every time i do like top 10 list 20 lists or best this best that I might not have all my knives, so I got to do what I have available for those videos. So there are a couple knives I would put on this list, like the the Tucson TS223 or even the Tucson TS162. That has some of the best ergos out there. But this thing, the best ergos I've felt to date. Love it, love it, love it. There you guys go. Love you guys. Peace.